adventure, excitement. It's your box office news. Hello, I'm your host, Daniel Kay, and I certainly hope that you do not crave those things. Uh, there are four new movies in the top ten this week, but they're nothing movies, and um, it's pretty much the exact same thing as last weekend. Eh, nothing's out that you want to see. But let's talk about what you saw anyway. Uh, coming in at number one, M. Night Shyamalan, I'll learn to pronounce it someday, uh, made a made Knock at the Cabin. This is from Universal Pictures. Um, there's apparently a twist, and Dave Bautista is in it. Dave Bautista uh, made uh, $14 million. Coming in at number two, AD for Brady uh, from Paramount Pictures. Uh, it made $12.7 million, and I might have gone and seen that this weekend, except uh, I was so uh, burned by the old woman comedy during last summer with uh, Diane Keaton that I've just sort of sworn off that genre. Uh, but I'm sure it's just fine. Coming in at number four, um, because the first ones were number one and two, and then Avatar. Anyway, coming in at number four from Trafalgar releasing BTS, yet to come in cinemas. Um, it's, uh, it's about the uh, K-pop band. And in fact, it probably is just a concert. I don't really know. Um, but it made $8 million. Uh, BTS is going strong. You can't stop them. Even uh, Bong Joon-ho isn't as big as BTS. Um, so that's great. Coming in at number nine, uh, from Fathom Events. So again, not a movie so much as a video projection, but really there's almost no difference nowadays. The Chosen Season 3 Finale. Yes, it's um, two episodes of a TV series that airs somewhere. I don't know where. I think it's on Spectrum? I don't know. Uh, but The Chosen um, pulled down $3.6 million, which is fine for a couple of episodes of a TV show. Uh, it's about Jesus. I guess. I don't know. It's the first I've ever heard of it, and um, most likely the last. That's your top 10. Coming in at number 57, all the way down to the bottom of the chart, after 15 weeks in release from Rialto Pictures, The Runner. Um, I tell you, I had to be very specific looking for posters for this, because again, The Runner is one of those titles that you know, people periodically trot out as a movie. <laughs> I didn't even mean that to be a joke. And I succeeded. Uh, it made $165 on one screen, down from two screens last week. Um, it has so far pulled down 29000 bucks. And coming in in its first week of release at number 47 from Music Box Films, Full Time. What do I know about Full Time? It's French. It's about a mom who is uh, a single mom who is trying to make her life work somehow. Um, it made $2,423, and I'm sure it's a worthy movie that you and I will never see. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching the box office news. Back again next week, because next week there should be a couple of rom-coms swimming around. I was promising them this week, but I hadn't really looked at the calendar. Um, but there'll be, there, there will be rom-coms, and, um, they will not be worth watching. Thank you. Bye for now.